Hi, this is Shaleen from CDOCS. Today's tip of the day is about periodontal attachment loss. Not all periodontal attachment loss is created the same. Of course, we know that if there is the presence of periodontal pathogens, we certainly have a higher risk for our patients to have attachment loss by way of recession and underlying bone resorption. However, that's not always the case. If somebody has a clean mouth, it's not just hard brushing that potentially gets them to have that attachment loss. Attachment loss can also occur in terms of the positioning of the teeth. If the teeth are actually against the cortical plate, meaning they're no longer in the center, they're on one of the edges, or they're excessively inclined, then what can happen is the vertical forces on an inopportune or a misangulated tooth can create a failure in that tooth, an area of compression between the surface of the root as well as the bone, which can exacerbate or accelerate bone resorption. And you can have attachment loss in the absence of periodontal pathogens. In that scenario, orthodontics is gonna be key in terms of positioning the teeth properly within the bone, as well as making sure that they are upright or are at that proper angulation um, that they should be within the arch as well as in the uh, against the opposing arch to make sure that we have a ideal static occlusion as well as an ideal functional occlusion. I hope that this is of help and don't forget to always enhance that orthodontic and restorative relationship and make sure that you refer by the age of seven to your local orthodontic team. Thank you so much.